What's going on? Sold out serving Chris Hart here, guys, discussing five ways to treat a business. Before we get started today, guys, make sure you take some time to subscribe, like, and share um, this channel here today, guys. Thank you. With that being said, um, today, five ways to treat a business. There's so many people out there looking for ways to earn a part-time income. During COVID-19, we've seen so many stay-at-home businesses get started up in America. But today we're discussing, okay, there's five ways we treat businesses. I've seen a lot of people go through these stages from hobby to employee to independent contractor to business owner to professional. Today we'll discuss each one of these stages and exactly where you're at in your stage, and how to go from one to two, from three to four, and four to five to eventually become a professional in your industry, guys. So the first one here, hobby. They don't take it serious, man. I see so many people, these online ads, part-time business cash for a thousand dollars a week, subscribe here. Um, COVID-19 created so many stay-at-home businesses. We were at home already looking for additional streams of income. And so what did we do? Started a stay-at-home business. Here's the problem with that. Most of us treat our stay-at-home businesses as a hobby. Most of us are not really serious about what it takes to become a professional business owner. So what do we do? We start a business for a startup fee of 200 bucks, get started here online. We, we, we don't take it serious. We don't study our craft in that industry. And eventually most people who start at the stage of hobby eventually fades into that. We all know somebody who started a business six months ago, 12 months ago, 20 months ago, and you talk to them again, you say, hey Johnny, how's that business going? Oh, that thing, man, we stopped that. It, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It was probably, they didn't work it, they were hobbyists. The second stage is employee. Now, let me preface this. We all are employees at some point in life in our careers, right? We, your first job at Taco Bell, maybe it was maybe McDonald's, local gas station, maybe you were a server at Denny's. We all were employees at some stage. Now being an entrepreneur, I recall being an employee at one time in my life. And so as employees, when opening a business, the challenge is this. We're going from an employee mindset to a business owner mindset. And getting out of stage two is the hardest for most people, guys. And what is it? You wait for someone to tell you what to do next. Why? Because at a job, you have a manager. You have directors, you have leaders, you have, a job, you have a boss who's telling you when to clock out, when to have a lunch, when to take a break, all these cool things, right? The challenge is this. Now that you're a business owner, no one's telling you what to do. And what's crazy about it is this. We think we're ready for business ownership, maybe we still have an employee mindset. And so we can plan by investing back into our business. Guys, I used to work at Apple as a business manager. I would show up to Apple, guys. They provide me a MacBook Pro. They gave me an iPhone, gave me an iPad. I didn't pay for anything, right? I didn't have to invest into my own business. Guys, when I became a business owner, it was like, okay, uh, where's my laptop at? <laughs> I buy my own laptop. I'm paying for my own office space, paying my own lease, paying for my own assistant. Their challenge is they don't want to invest back into the business. Why? Because they used to be an employee, showing up to a job and having everything given to them. If you're going to be successful in business, you got to get from that hobbyist stage and you eventually get to a level where you're an employee, but you got to graduate from employee to that next level to see success. Level three, independent contractor. So you may say, preface your time out, guys. Some, some business owners are independent contractors, right? You got the guy who sells homes, right? In real estate. He's an independent contractor, guys. He sells homes, services his clients, provides customer service. I'm not talking about him, guys. I'm talking about the guy who's opening up a bakery down the corner. The guy who's opening up a barber shop and wants to scale into a larger, larger business place. This guy is, the problem is they're independent contractors who don't level up to that next level of being a business owner. I know some realtors who are making decent income. They live and die by their personal sales. I know a realtor did, did $5 million in, in sales last year. The challenge is, in order to repeat that, they're doing it again next year. So what's the challenges with becoming an independent contractor and getting out that phase? Here's the first one here, guys. They like to be left alone. You know people who say, hey man, I want to make some money, become a business owner, I don't want a boss, I'm not an employee, don't want to clock in, clock out, I want to study my craft, be, do it, be good at what I do, and stay in my lane. They own a practice, they're not business owners, but nothing wrong with that, you can be a high income earner as an independent contractor. The problem is this, you like being left alone, you don't have the patience to develop or hire other people or train other people, so you can never replace yourself. The one big stage of business is this, get to a point to where you can duplicate and replace yourself. So as an independent contractor, every year your income, your 299, is dependent upon you putting in the work. Now, if you're saying, Chris, I don't want to be stuck at a, a level three, man, I, I want the income of that, but I want, I want higher levels of income, I want to be able to scale my business, you have to graduate to level four, becoming a business 
owner. Now you may say, this person thinks they're a business owner, they're not. They say I'm in business for myself, they're not. I'm an independent business owner, I'm an entrepreneur. You're an independent contractor, business owner. Their business is their life. Guys, when I went full time to business, it became my life. My wife was a stay at home mom. At the time I went full time in business was 2016. Um, my son was just born that year. My daughter was a year and a half, man, and we went all in. Guys, no income, no job coming in. If I didn't provide, if I didn't build a business or provide the lifestyle for my family, it wasn't happening. I went all in. And here's the thing, guys, we leverage systems as business owners. Guys, you come to my office here. I got an assistant for a new business. I got an assistant for customer service. I have an assistant for special events. I invest back into my business. There's a lease we sign here. You pay for that lease. And so as a business owner, you start putting skin again. Now, what does that provide for me? It provides systems I can leverage. My staff takes care of customer service. They take, take care of certain things with payroll. And what happens, it allows to free me up to do what I'm good at doing. Just like the independent contractor who likes selling, I like selling also, guys, but guess what? I don't want to take care of paperwork. So I hire someone to take care of that for me. I have a team. I, I have a couple hundred licensed agents across the entire country. How, that, how is that possible? By having the patience to develop, hire, and train. So if you're saying, man, Chris, I want to get to a level where I can make income when I'm not there. We were in Hawaii last month, my wife and I. My daughter, my son, mother-in-law, had a blast in Hawaii. We are in Maui, right? One of the first time, one of the first, they, they just opened back up from COVID. We are in Hawaii having a good time. And I'm back in Hawaii relaxing, chilling, guys. My business is operating. I have, I have a presence in Columbus, Ohio, Brooklyn, New York, New Jersey. We're in the DMV, DC, we're in Virginia area. We're in, we're, in, we're in Riverside, California, Lubbock, Texas, North Carolina. Well, I'm in Maui with my family relaxing. Guess what? My business is developing. My staff is back at the office. My, my team members are out there creating sales, generating business, creating commerce, because I'm a, I'm a business owner. Now, the next stage, most people don't make it here. Most of us settle for business owner, which is not, it's a, it's a great place to be. You're leveraging systems, hiring staff, you're making good money, you own a business, you're doing pretty well for yourself. But the professional does whatever it takes to be the best in their business. Guys, I think about the likes of LeBron James. LeBron James is a professional. LeBron invests $1.5 million a year into his body. Wait, wait, $1.5 million a year into his body, why? He wants to be the best at what he does. He's studying his craft, he's watching film. Professional athletes are great to watch because the comparison is this. You take a LeBron James and Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, they were obsessed with being the best at what they do. Obsessed with it, guys. And these greats, these athletic type of people, these, these professionals, are, they go to say, hey, I'll go against all stakes to make things happen. In your own business, who are you? If you're in real estate, are you a professional? Are you the best at what you do? I had a, I had a, a member of my team, one of my agents said the other day, man, he said, hey, Chris, man, I, I can't make it to the meeting on Saturday. I'm like, why, what's going on? Um, I gotta go to this, this gathering, this party I'm, I'm invited out to. Well, what do you mean? I was, I was invited out to a party, so I can't make the, the sales meeting. I'm confused. The sales meeting's been on our calendar for the last quarter, and you're not coming because of a party? Well, I, I have to miss it. Let me ask you a question. If LeBron James was, was invited out to a party, <laughs> right? He's playing a game, right? He's playing a game at Staples Center, Saturday evening. Can LeBron James say, hey, Laker organization, guys, man, party to go to, man. I can't make it to the game. No, he can't. He's a freaking professional. And so for those of you guys saying, man, I want to take my business to the next level. Guys, I've been in my industry now going on eight years in this industry of financial services. And for someone like myself, I was a professional getting my, love, getting, getting my game better. Why? Because I missed so many parties, so many barbecues. I was, I was fixated on getting better. So when someone would say, hey, Chris, we have a barbecue to go to. I can't. Why not? I'm at the office Saturday morning. Office Saturday. I'm at the office Saturday morning, man. Why? I'm a professional. That's on my calendar. I go to the office every Saturday morning to work, work on customer service, follow-up calls, sales. And so if you're saying, man, I want to be a guy who can be um, a number one guy in my industry. Maybe you're in a DMV. Maybe you're in Orlando, Florida. Maybe you're in Brooklyn, New York. Maybe you're in real estate sales in your region. You're saying, man, Chris, I want to be the best real estate sales agent possible. Maybe you're a guy who does door-to-door -door sales. Maybe you sell um, cable television. You sell files, internet. I want to be the best at what I do. Maybe you're a guy who's, who's just starting in business. You're saying, I want to be the best. Do you treat your business as a professional? 
Because for a season in your life, you have seasons. LeBron James has a season. Tom Brady has a season. During football season, he's all in. Out of, out of season, he's a little more relaxed. Guys, right now in my professional business life, I'm in season mode. I'm in season mode. The wife and the kids know, hey, hey kids, Saturday morning, I'm at the office. Sunday, we're gonna relax, go to church, have some brunch, grab a bite to eat, just take a nap together. But Monday morning, honey, I'm back on the grind. And so, as you check out these five different levels of how we treat our business in America today, where do you fall? Are you a hobbyist? Are you an employee? Are you, are you trying to transition from that employee mindset to becoming an independent contractor? Are you stuck at that level? Are you making 100K a year, 200K a year, half a million a year, looking for a way to scale your business, looking for a way to get time back in your business? Maybe you're a business owner saying, Chris, I'm a business owner, man. I'm doing well, I'm making good money, but you know what? I'm not a professional. I'm not the top in my industry. I wanna be the best at what I wanna leave an impact on what I do in my industry. Study your business. Take some time out this evening, this weekend, to say, you know what, man, where am I at? And how do I level up to the next level, guys? So with that being said, Chris Hart, Sold Out Server here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. We'll see you next time. Thank you.